Well, hello, Travelers Todd here. We're traveling around Disney. And I was sitting at home because Michelle was at work and I was flipping through Facebook like most everybody does, either that or TikTok. And I happened to come across a Disney Food Parks blog, a Disney Food blog right there. They have a crispy pineapple sundae at Animal Kingdom. So, of course, what I have to do, I had to put my Animal Kingdom shirt on and head over to Animal Kingdom. And also, there is a coffee here that everyone, all of our travelers is telling me it's my Cafe Bonbon on steroids. So come along and let's see what Animal Kingdom has to offer us today. Travelers, we've not made it 10 feet into Animal Kingdom and we ran into Alex and Robin here. They are fellow travelers from North Carolina. Empty nesters, so they're out exploring the world and traveling. Everything going okay so far, guys? Awesome so far. So far. Beautiful. Yeah. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Thank you so much for sharing some of your time with me and to say hello. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Let's thank go you. enjoy Animal Kingdom. Awesome. Now we know everybody loves to stop here to get their picture of the Tree of Life, but there's actually a better spot, which we will show you today, to get a picture with the Tree of Life. But we are heading back to Africa. The Disney food blog, once I showed you the picture right there, you can see it, it looks absolutely wonderful. They said another hidden gem that nobody talks about. So we're gonna go talk about it. Of course, that's why we came. We're gonna try the coffee and we'll probably head over to Dino Land to take a look around because we all know that's getting ready to go under construction in 2025. And the, really the incredible thing about that, that's all supposed to be done by 2027. So we're gonna go over there and take a look at that, but I definitely gotta get that coffee. And I definitely gotta get this Sunday right here. Look at that. Look at that, it looks so good. Okay, let's head to Africa. Crowds really aren't too bad um, today here at Animal Kingdom as we make our way this way. Of course, if you're gonna go to Africa, you go left when you hit the Tree of Life. Just head left, you'll head towards Pizza Safari and um, Avatar Land, as everybody likes to call it. You'll pass the Island Mercantile right here, but you'll just keep heading this way. Yeah. I, I know, I've always said, this is my least favorite Disney park. And I know there are some out there. Zoe, I know you in particular love this park. Uh, they got some great photo ops, so make sure you stop and take all the photo ops. Like you're there with um, Simba, Timon, and Pumbaa. That way down there goes towards um, Pandora. But we are heading this way. And just follow all the signs. Now, if you definitely want some different Tree of Life, um, pictures head down the Tree of Life Garden. There's a pathway right over here and you can get some great shots that way. Another great photo op right here beside Creature Comfort, which is of course the Starbucks location here at Animal Kingdom. Right before you go over the bridge into Africa, you will come this way along the riverbanks right here to see the Tree of Life right up here. And if you come right over this way, I'll show you a great way to take a picture of the Tree of Life with nobody in it. And you can come right over here, take a great picture with the Tree of Life right here. Usually there's nobody back here. And of course, the day I come back here, there's everybody here. But look at that picture. You can get a great family photo right here at the Tree of Life with hardly anybody in your photo. So let's take a photo. There we go, see? See how easy that is? So right, at, right as you come over the bridge into Africa, you're gonna see the Tamu Tamu building right there. We have done this for our Disney dining location for a cinnamon roll, but today we're going to get the Sunday here, but we need to go find the coffee and where that location is. 
since we're over here in Africa, let's see how long the Africa trek, the wait time is over here. Nice shaded areas to sit, to grab food, to get you corn on the cob or a hot dog or churros or Mickey shaped pretzel there right here at the cart. Over here to the Kilimanjaro Safaris is a 60 minute wait. That's not too bad for today, 60 minute wait. Okay, now we gotta find this coffee. And we found our location right here at the Coos Safari Coffee Shop and Bakery. And it's actually catty corner to the Tamu Tamu, which is right over there. So we'll get our coffee first and then we'll get our pineapple sundae. Can't wait to try these. And this is what we have come for right here. I believe it is coconut flavored iced coffee, Joffrey's coffee, of course, you know us, Joffrey's only in the parks. Cold brew flavored with coconut milk and drilled with sweetened condensed milk. I mean, how can you beat that? And I thought they only served um, coffees and pastries, but they got some good looking little um, lunch items right here. I've never eaten lunch here. Um, this is part of our Disney dining quest because we have never gotten anything, I don't believe, from here. So the coffee will count as our Disney dining quest. But we may have to come back for some food. Okay, we've acquired our pineapple crisp. Right there is the picture. We're gonna give this a try. Items have been acquired right here. There's the coffee. I can see the condensed milk in the bottom, so that might be a plus. I cannot wait to give that a try. Remember, it is a Joffrey's co coffee. A large ice water right there. They gave me a large because it is a little warm today. And then the pineapple crisp sundae right here. Um, this coffee does count for our Disney dining quest. Yes, we are still doing our Disney dining quest. We've got, I think, 100 more locations to film. And then when we have filmed every eating location at Walt Disney World, it'll be on film. We've eaten everywhere, but now we want it all on film. But we're gonna try that coffee and we're gonna try this pineapple crisp because Disney Food Blog says this is really good and we're gonna put them to the test. And I don't know if that is a cafe bonbon on steroids. We're going to find out. First things first, when you come here, I'm sitting right behind uh, the Tamu Tambu let me turn it around here, hold on a second. So that is the Tamu Tamu building and there is seating back here. I usually always have seating, the fans are always going, but these chairs are soft cushion chairs. So be very careful if it has rained because the chairs like to soak up water and you will have a wet behind. So just, <laughs> I just wanted to warn you because it happened to me. Up first, we're gonna try the coffee because I have no I had no coffee today yet right there we'll stir it up try to get that up in that it's all on the side of the cup it's all in the cup this also has coconut milk in it i don't know about that so we're gonna see everybody says i needed to try this i didn't want my traveling family to let me down but it looks good nice and dark you can smell the coconut so here we go i wish they would have put more condensed milk in it though that's just me It's a very strong coffee, just remember. Um, you can taste the coconut, but not as much. Definitely for me, a sweet coffee drinker, definitely needed some more condensed milk. It's good, but it does not beat my Cafe Bonbon over at Coronado at Three Bridges. Nope, does not beat it. Uh, there's some more, let me, get, let me get that right there. Get that incorporated in there. Um, it's good, but I should have probably taught him a little extra condensed milk. I'm sure you can ask that to request it because they make them fresh as you walk up to the window. So that's nice. Mm. Okay. Just needs to be a little bit sweeter for me. But then again, that's me, me and sweets. But this right here is why we came because the Disney food blog said this dessert hits every time. Consistency sometimes is a, a little pesk for um, Disney sometimes. But they said this is a pretty consistent dessert every time they come and it's pretty, um, not many people know about it, but I looked at the menu up there and everybody was ordering it. But I think you can also get it with Dole Whip Swirl. But I wanted the vanilla just as it came. I will have to say these bowls that they now have at Animal Kingdom are some of the flimsiest bowls I've ever seen. So we're gonna give this a try though. 
got that. Oh, look at the crumble on that. Look at the ice cream. Oh, that looks fantastic. Oh, the caramel dripping off there. Oh. Oh. If you're a pineapple upside down cake lover, this might be for you. It's not as much pineapple upside down cake, but it's just enough to give that flavor. Definitely let the ice cream melt all over that cake and the crumble that's on there and the caramel. Oh my goodness, this is good. Thank you, Disney Food Blog, for posting that on um, Facebook so I could come give this a try today. This is really good. For me to come all the way to Animal Kingdom, you know, my favorite park, but anything that is a Sunday pineapple, I mean, come on. You can't beat that. I, and I had to try the coffee. So I just came over and gave everything a try. That, I would highly recommend that. If you're in Animal Kingdom, I'd come get that. I'd get the coffee. Just ask for a little more um, condensed milk. If you're a sweet coffee drinker. If you're a dark coffee drinker, this might be the coffee for you. And remember, it's Joffrey's. Joffrey's only in the parks. No Starbucks. That's just me. Okay, I think I'm gonna go finish enjoying this and I'm gonna walk over to Dino Land I'm just to take a look around. We know we got big changes coming there. So I enjoyed my little treats right back here, but if you come right over here, that is Harambe Market and there's more seating and more dining options back there. So now let's head over to Dino Land, but I might stop and get some real food. I need to get some real food at one of, uh, one of another Disney dining quest locations that we haven't tried. There's the photo tent right there. But if you don't wanna go down to the photo tent, you can pretty much just stand right here and get a fantastic picture of the Tree of Life. Making our way right around. We're gonna cut through um, Asia part. Yeah, Asia and then over to Dino Land. We'll take the long way around. Cause it's been a while, like I said, since we've been here. More great photo opportunities at the Tree of Life. So like I said, if you can't get a great one up at um, the front of the park, just come here, especially like right here at the bridge. Look, you get that waterfall. How can you beat that? I did not know this. This is breaking news. The caravan road right here, as you're going into Asia, carries Kakegori. I never knew those existed here. I definitely will be coming back one of these days to try these. And that's actually a spot on our Disney Dining Quest that we got to hit there too. So that won't be good. Kake Gori there. And we'll come over here to um, Mr. Kamal's and we'll get some fries with the Kake Gori. Another Disney Dining Quest location. Walking through Asia and we come upon probably our favorite restaurant in all of the Animal Kingdom. Yak and Yeti. And remember, if you're Landry's card holder, you don't have to wait in line. You can go right in, they'll take you to a table. It is fantastic. And it is probably our favorite restaurant here at Animal Kingdom. We talked about Yak and Yeti being our favorite restaurant, but did you know they have a quick service window right over here, right beside Yak and Yeti? And they serve a lot of the foods that they serve inside because they have the Kobe beef burger which is one of my favorite burgers on property right here that you can get. Um, and there's seating around the corner that you can sit and eat. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a line. So I think I'm gonna pass on this today and maybe find something else. And when you're in Animal Kingdom, if you know, you know. Honestly wonder if anything will ever become of this again. The stadium by the river. Such a great spot and such a great area, but I understand they don't do fireworks and stuff like that. By Everest here, and it looks like it's down. It just opened as I'm walking by. Standby is 35 minutes, and everybody that was waiting is now crowding through. This is standby line right here. Lightning Lane hasn't come back over yet. Okay, it's back open.
Travelers, I'm gonna give you a little tad tip right here. If you come to the theater area, you're allowed to walk around, sit down, relax, get the little shade, it's down by the water, flame trees over there. But if you really want a great Everest picture with the family, just come around here, come to the area, right there's a little walkway behind me. But look at that picture you could get of Everest right there. So you could either do it here or you could go to the other side and shoot upwards that way. So you'll get some great photos of Everest with hardly anybody in your way. Just passing Nemo right there, and we are heading into Dino Land. It is going to be a sad day when this all closes and um, it all becomes a new land. We've enjoyed Dino Land, but I understand it's it's time for a little refresh. But um, not gonna say I'm not gonna miss this big guy right here, a big girl. Is it a girl or a guy? Leave it in the comments down below. But I absolutely love this area. All the games. What is this? Annual pass holder magnet distribution. And there it is. Dino land right there. And it's going to become its new area. I still can't believe they're going to get this done. And to, well, they say 2027. So it's 25, 26, and no telling how much of 2027. 20, but you know this will be disappearing. And quite honestly, it need it is a need 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 of a um, refurbishment. I mean, I love the the games, the carnival games, but it's such an area. I mean, I love the swirling saucers that used to be back here, but they took that out. I think they took it out a little too early. They should have just left it until the refurb was coming. Because um yeah, you don't um throw a back out or two, and it would um definitely um, crack a neck bone or two, but. It was a great ride, but we can still go out to Disneyland and ride the one they have out there. Uh, the kids used to love this, AKA the um, Triceratops spin, or let's just call it what it is, Dumbo, but before there were elephants. And then over here, the little um, gift shop, which everybody loves. We're gonna come back over, I promise you guys, we're gonna come back over here and do a complete tour of all this area before it goes away but i just wanted to walk through since we were here and um animal kingdom to try those two items and i definitely wanted to get some pictures that we could have and everybody knows if you go back that way that'll take you to dinosaur the ride donald is out and about but look at the line i don't know if i want to wait that long but down over there dancing look at that Fantastic, okay, day is made, day is made. And then of course, all this will be going away. The um, dinosaur dig over there will be going away. Restaurant source will be going away. That's right back there. Any of the animal, um, like the crocodiles and the tortoises over here, of course, they'll be leaving. But I'm sure they'll bring new animals in. That That's, I mean, that's Animal Kingdom. That's what we are. We're an animal park. Dinosaur back that way. I'm telling you, it's going to be interesting to see just what plans they have for this area. We absolutely loved uh, the character breakfast that used to be here. The character dining that used to be here at the restaurant source right there so hopefully they'll bring something back maybe an Encanto or Indiana Jones character breakfast come on give us one of those and then Dino Bites right here definitely gonna miss the Boneyard and all this right here we are heading out of Dino Land you know hate to see him go like we said but I think it's time And don't forget, usually up by Flame Tree, Kevin is out and about to take pictures with. So always remember that as you're um, going by Flame Tree. And don't forget to get your ride on this or your theater seating on this before it goes away. Okay, travelers, we are heading out of Disney's Animal Kingdom. We had a fantastic time. Thank you, Disney Food Blogs, for those two recommendations. Well, the one recommendation and the fellow travelers that suggested that coffee. Thank you guys so much. 
they were both i would highly recommend them i loved both of the items taking another great picture over here by the tree of life we hope you enjoyed our travels today here at animal kingdom don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below to become a fellow traveler and don't forget to head over to merchandise check out some of our goodies and our t-shirts that we have on there so travelers like we always say until next time travel and adventure is out there travelers getting off the tram ran into one of my favorite cast members Devin, right here she was over at the contemporary with us as a uh, um, cp then she went to vip, VIP tours board. she did a little stint there professional um stint there and now she is here and just waiting for her next location at disney so great to see you again i love you tom i miss her all the time she's amazing